Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Red Collectors. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the Retro Fighters Brawler 64 for Nintendo Switch Online and PC. The next revolution of Retro Fighters is here. The Brawler 64 Wireless Nintendo 64 Online Edition. The Brawler 64 Wireless Gamepad is completely redesigned to N64 controller with next generation features and attributes. Providing a new and comfortable way to play your favorite classic N64 games on your Switch. The Brawler 64 Bluetooth Wireless Nintendo Switch Edition is specifically made for Nintendo Switch Online play and showcases two-handle design, responsive buttons, D-pad and analog stick. The Brawler 64 Nintendo Switch Online Edition also features the latest Bluetooth technology, next-gen N64 controller, Bluetooth wireless technology, compatible with Switch and PC, specifically made for Nintendo Switch Online, features swapping feature, swap between Nintendo Switch Online button layout or pro layout responsive analog stick, and wireless range of over 30 feet. Now I know what you're thinking, we did receive a Brawler 64, actually a few variants of the Brawler 64 over the past couple of years. I wanna thank Retro Fighters for sending me out two versions of the Brawler 64 for review. Opening up the box, you're greeted with a wired USB-C controller charger cable, some reading material, and the standard white controller itself. Side by side, both of these controllers look aesthetically exactly the same. There are a few variances or a few differences. You can see that on this one you here, you have four LED lights that basically dictate controller one through four. Whereas on your regular Brawler 64, you're just greeted with a single standard light. You're also able to swap out from Nintendo Switch Online controller or a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, which is their version of a Pro Controller. And I'll get to that in a little bit later. The build quality is about the same, but the Nintendo Switch Online Controller is slightly heavier. It has the rumble feature built inside, so I think that's the reason why this is a little bit of a heftier controller. The build quality is fantastic. I feel the analog stick, the button presses are short and really responsive. The C buttons are fantastically built, but the lack of a secondary analog stick kind of takes it down as a pro controller option when you're playing Nintendo Switch. Anything that's about 3D, you have a little bit of an issue where you can't control the cameras, their button presses as opposed to switching the camera with the C stick. And I feel that it feels a little bit off when you're playing 3D platformers. Also, when you're playing a 2D platformer, much like Metroid or even Dead Cells, the button layout from a pro controller or a Nintendo Switch built-in Joy-Cons, the button layouts are a little bit different. Because these are set for Nintendo 64 controller button variations, the C button acts as the X and Y, but when you're playing a single player game that is not on Nintendo Switch Online, I couldn't figure it out. It was cumbersome. I was always having to change the button layout and then test it out in the game to try to match the Nintendo Switch controller and it wasn't working. And then I had to go back to your menu and mess it around with it again and then go back and test it and then go back and forth and back and forth. And I just couldn't figure out the button layout that worked exactly as the Nintendo Switch controller should work out. You could still play these games the way that it is tuned this way, but just if you're used to playing a game where Metroid B over here is to shoot, whereas Y is to shoot on the Nintendo Switch controller. I wanted it to be a mirror exactly the way it is and it's, it's a lot different. I feel a controller like this is specifically for those who have Nintendo Switch online and have the expansion pack for the N64 games. I personally don't, so I tested this on Doom 64, which I had to pay for on the Nintendo Switch eShop because I did not want to spend $80 on the Nintendo Switch Online just to test this controller out. So I went to the shop and I paid $6.99 for Doom 64. It works flawlessly on, I didn't have to change no button variations. It was just a simple, basically sync it, make sure it's in the N64 mode and it works perfectly. I just feel that paying $80 for me on a, something that I wouldn't normally do. I'd much rather have the physical item of the N64 and I have the Brawler 64. So if I'm gonna play a few of the games, I'm just gonna play it on my standard N64. But it doesn't make or break a decision for those who are already 
in the market for a controller because I know the Nintendo has a very steep price on their controller and finding them online is even harder. So this is a great option, you know, about $39.99 Canadian, but playing for the Nintendo Switch online, it's a lot more. It breaks out to $120, $130 with this included. I wasn't down to do that. So I figured just test it out on something that was a lot cheaper, gets the point across and you get to see how it plays along with it. If it works flawlessly that way. Having a controller that's a niche item for a certain console or a certain variation of that main console, eShop or whatever, I for one, am not necessarily interested in something like that. I'm one of a type of gamer that when I play something, I wanna play with exactly the same controller that either came with the system or a better variation that I could buy a second party. And having something that I have to switch between a first party controller to a, play certain games and to play another controller to other sets of games, I'm not interested in that. I'm sure there's many people that feel the opposite effect or they don't mind switching out controllers to get a certain effect or of gameplay. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tried the Brawler 64 Nintendo Switch Online version? Please like, comment, subscribe. You can guys get these at the Retro Fighters store. Thanks guys.